PBIS provides multi-tiered systems of support for schools. That organizes evidence-based practices into an integrated continuum. And that enhances academic, behavioral, and social-emotional outcomes for all students. We want every student and staff member on our campuses to feel safe, respected, and to develop the positive relationships necessary to foster a sense of community, ownership, and belonging. Here are 10 research-based outcomes we see when schools implement school-wide PBIS. The first is a reduction in problem behavior. The second is an increased academic performance for all students. The third is increased attendance. The fourth is improved social-emotional competence among all students. The fifth is an improved perception of safety. The sixth is a reduction in bullying behaviors. The seventh is improved organizational efficiency. The eighth is a reduction in staff turnover. The ninth is an increased perception of teacher efficacy. The tenth is improved relationships between students, staff, administrators, parents, and all stakeholders. To achieve these outcomes, we implement the tiered PBIS framework, which is data-driven and organized in teams. PBIS teams are comprised of a variety of members, including a data analyst, a tier lead, and an administrator, but they can also include teachers, parents, and students. Teams meet regularly to identify areas for improvement using data generated from a variety of sources, including referral forms, surveys, and staff recommendations. Teams then develop action plans that include next steps and SMART goals, goals that are specific, measurable, agreed upon, realistic, and time-based. PBIS and its teams are divided into three tiers. The first tier includes all students on a campus. Successful Tier 1 implementation includes establishing three to five expectations for student behavior. And then explicitly teaching those behavior expectations across multiple environments. It also means developing an acknowledgement and reward system for when students get it right. And clearly defining consequences to reduce ambiguity. Tier 1 of PBIS is the things that we do on campus for all students and includes strategies and initiatives like CM and GRR, technology access, social and emotional curriculum, and counseling guaranteed services, and more. Each site will develop a Tier 1 program that fits the needs of their students and staff. Helps students feel positively connected to the schools. Creating safe learning environments. And keep students in the classroom learning. So what happens if a student needs more? That's where Tier 2 comes along. Tier 2 is targeted interventions for students. So how are Tier 2 students identified? First, teams look at school-wide data, things like discipline referral forms, attendance, and grades. And then they use parent and staff recommendations. After identification, teams determine the right intervention for each student. There are many Tier 2 interventions that staff can use. Some common ones are check-in and check-out, social-emotional groups, behavioral contracts, and academic interventions, both during the school day and after school. Tier 2 teams then monitor intervention data to determine the effectiveness of interventions and see if any adjustments need to be made. If Tier 2 supports are unsuccessful, a student is then given individualized interventions in Tier 3. Many sites are just beginning their implementation of Tier 3, so here are some tools that sites can use in order to have an effective Tier 3 implementation. The first thing students need is an SST. SSTs are a bridge from Tier 2 to Tier 3 and are used to help determine the appropriate supports. SST stands for Student Support Team and is a team comprised of a variety of individuals that meet to develop an individualized plan for each student in need. Teams can choose supports like functional behavior assessments, person-centered planning, 
the usage of community partners, and more. It's important to remember that SSTs are not an intervention. They are simply a tool to help determine the appropriate interventions for each student. SSTs need to be done to fidelity in order to have an effective Tier 3. And this includes collecting and analyzing data, following through with the interventions, and meeting regularly to make adjustments as necessary. Improving students' relationships with teachers has important, positive, and long-lasting implications for both students' academic and social development. However, solely improving students' relationship with their teachers will not produce gains in achievement. But those students who do have close, positive, and supportive relationships with their teachers will attain higher levels of achievement than those students with more conflict in their relationships. One way to foster more positive interactions between staff and students is to use the 4 to 1 model. In this model, you have four positive interactions for every one behavioral correction. This moves staff away from more punitive responses to student behavior. Research shows that punitive responses are ineffective at best and harmful at worst. The focus for 4 to 1 is more on modeling and explicitly teaching the behaviors we want to see so students know what is expected of them. This helps build relationships and mentorships and improves behavioral outcomes. You can help us create safe, respectful, and positive campuses by actively participating in your site's PBIS program. Use 4 to 1 feedback with your students in the classroom. Hand out acknowledgments when students do the right thing. Nominate students for site awards. Refer struggling students to Tier 2 intervention programs. Support school-wide interventions on campus. And work within your PLC team to share best practices and evaluate student learning.